yeah, we're talking about this again. Hey everyone, so I have decided to make my blog on uh, how consent is and how it has not been respected in the past and how it continuously is not respected right now. So the blog is basically just going to be an awareness site where people tell their stories and where people can actually get a sense of how this is actually affecting other people. Because I don't think society or the people are really understanding the severity that others are going through with this problem. So throughout this video we're going to explain a little bit what consent is through a little bit of um, skits and stuff like that just to make it a little bit more fun but they're all actually factual and what I think you guys should take from this video is that consent is key and it should never be assumed it should never just be taken for granted it's something that is nece it's a necessity so throughout the little videos we're going to see I understand that sometimes someone just touches you to get around you and some people are going to be like, oh, they didn't get my consent. And I understand that some people think that that's not the biggest thing, but for them, it could be. So just pay attention to the small details that actually occur in this video. We're going to point a couple out, and I really hope you guys like it. There are so many myths out there about sexual assault and not being able to get cons uh, consent. Sexual assault can happen to me or anyone I know. But sexual assault does happen to you and to people that you know. So people with any kind of ethnic background, victims can be victims of sexual assault. Young women, Aboriginal women, and women with disabilities are actually at greater risk. Sexual assault is more often committed by strangers. Actually, that's not true. 82% of all sexual assaults happen by someone you know, so you can never be too safe. Sexual assault is most likely to happen outside in dark, dangerous places. The majority of sexual assaults actually happen in private spaces like a residence or a private home. <laughs> How many things that people are going to be doing at bars? There's actually a dress that came out stating, there's actually a dress that came out and it's an awesome idea I think. They had sensors on the dress and um, the girls walked around in the bar with the dresses on and they got touched without consent a hundred and... 56 times. I think that's ridiculous. You know, there's, you know, a couple times where people kind of like walk past you in the bar, but for people to actually have to pull their arm away from the guy, that is absolutely ridiculous. I don't consent to that. That is not okay. For girls to actually say, don't touch me, talk without touching me, like, what's the matter with you? It goes for guys as well. Not because a guy's in a muscle shirt that he wants to get touched his bicep. I mean, some of them do. As soon as you hear stories about it, it kind of pops into your head and you're like, oh my god, like, why is this something I'm living in? Like, why is this a fear of mine? There's so many people that don't understand how consent is crucial, how unbelievably important it is to grab consent. One thing that I've constantly hear, like heard is that, oh, well, if she's dressed like that, she's asking for it. Well, regardless, believe it or not, of what someone is wearing, they're not going to ask for it because no one ever wants to get raped. So regardless of the person is wearing, they don't want to be touched, okay? And if they do, they're going to give you the consent. They're going to give you the physical signs or even the verbal signs. Okay. <laughs> and then we came with a 20-second lead. Okay, that's impressive. Okay, that's impressive. Yeah, so no, we were like, see. oh, hey, no kidding. Oh my God, how are you doing? Oh, I'm to see ya. Yeah. 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 Ye